Hi Fools, healthcare analyst David Williamson answering viewer questions in the always popular Ask a Fool series. Today's question comes from Galtic who asks, Gilead Sciences seems to be on a downtrend. Is there any specific reasons or should I just hold firm? Well, thanks, Galtic, for the great question. And investors often forget that knowing when to sell is just as important as knowing when to buy. The Motley Fool preaches a buy and hold strategy, but that isn't buy and forget. So let's take a look at the big biotech and see where we stand with it. Well, that certainly is a bad looking chart. No one wants down and to the right, but it is important to have perspective. This is a year to date chart. We aren't even through uh, the first two weeks of January yet. So let's see where Gilead has been over the past 12 months. Ah, so that's a bit better. A near double in less than a year. So I wouldn't stress too badly over January's 3% decline. You can see that in the very upper right-hand corner, that small decline. But to make sure it isn't the start of a negative trend, let's talk about how Gilead got here and where it is going next. Now, Gilead has largely been the story of hepatitis C drug Sophosbuvir making it through clinical trials gaining FDA approval, it is now marketed as Sovaldi. What makes Sovaldi unique is that it does not require interferon for genotypes two and three. Interferon has a lot of nasty side effects and it is, uh, Sovaldi is just a once a day pill. Now genotype one is by far the most common version of hepatitis C here in the United States, but Gilead has a combo product in late stage development uh, for genotype one and it would be uh, two drugs co-formulated into a single once-a-day pill. So going forward, Gilead is going to have to compete with expectations for how Sovaldi and more importantly this combo pill will do. Now its main competitor here is AbbVie. Now AbbVie's regimen is far more complicated than Gilead. Uh, patients will have to juggle multiple pills. The duration of treatment is likely going to be longer and it is only slightly more effective. And when both put up cure rates in the mid 90s, we're really splitting hairs when it comes to effectiveness. AbbVie will likely be forced to compete on price and depending on how AbbVie prices its regimen and how it markets it, it could affect Gilead's success. That said, I think Gilead will dominate the hepatitis C market. Uh, this will be a mega blockbuster product, but it is a concern because the valuation rests largely on how Savaldi performs. Also, unlike HIV, which is where Gilead made its name, uh, this hepatitis C drug is essentially an effective cure. That means no repeat business. Chronic conditions are the most profitable for drug companies. The global market for Savaldi is enormous, but it will only get smaller over time. Now that will take a long time to play out, so that shouldn't be on your immediate time horizon at all, but it is a distant concern for investors to have in the back of their minds. Finally, uh, when you're looking at Gilead, are there any other upside surprises? Idelalisib would qualify for that. It, this is Gilead's first foray into the lucrative cancer drug market. It's in late stage development now, and if it performs well, it could help push shares even higher. At the end of the day, and barring any black swan events like a Savaldi safety issue that would cause it to be pulled from the market, I expect Gilead to have a good 2014. Given how much it ran in 2013, it may not be the top performing of the four big biotechs, but it is a well-run company and has a mega blockbuster in its hands just launching. I don't see any reason to give up on this stock now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Fool.com for all your healthcare news and Fool on.